What up, folks? It's your boy Tillman again. So for those of you guys that saw this video right here that I'm about to play, looks like it was in NY uh, New York because it got NYPD on the back of their uniforms. For those of you guys that are wondering what my take was on this and whether or not the officers are right, whether or not the officers are wrong, you guys are in the right spot. Let's get into it. Ron Tillman, real talk, it's the truth. All right, y'all. So a lot of you guys saw this viral video that came to us a couple weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago. Obviously, I wasn't able to do it. I've been on the road. I've been traveling like crazy, been all over the place. But I still want to bring you guys the content, want to give you guys my opinion. And so for those of you guys watching here on YouTube, just realize that I will not be playing the full video simply because it's going to get me censored. And so therefore, if you guys want to subscribe, see the rest of the video, go to our Locals channel. But if you guys are content with this, thank you so much. Do me a favor, just hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And with that, let's watch the video. All right, so right there, the lady just punched an officer or pushed an officer, and then what happens next is the, uh, the lady actually gets punched by the officer and goes down to the ground. A lot of you guys are wondering what my take is on this situation. Well, in order to give you guys my take, I have to give you guys a little bit more context. The context of the situation is the officers were there to detain a man who was wanted uh, for the possible or wanted to be detained for what they needed to detain him for a possible attempted murder. This guy, I guess, supposedly shot it to a, a group of people. And so when they're detaining him right here, the guy has a, a legal firearm in his possession and they know he's a clear subject of this a possible attempted murder. So they're trying to detain him. That's why there's so many people. There's so many officers around this guy. I mean, look at the picture right here. There's so many people surround this guy because they're treating this individual like he's armed and dangerous and which he really is. He's armed and dangerous. And so then you have this female that just kind of approaches. She walks on up, you know, she's getting involved. And right here you see she punches or pushes the officer. So the officer punches her back and then they end up taking her into custody. And a lot of people are wondering, was the officer right in doing so? Well, let me tell you guys this. If officers are trying to do an investigation, if they are trying to detain somebody who is potentially armed and dangerous, you cannot run up and interfere with their investigation. You just can't do it for multiple reasons. One, they don't even have this guy clearly in custody yet. And so they're trying to deal with a, per a possibly armed and dangerous subject. And here you are trying to involve yourself. The second thing is, is you cannot... Put your hands on a police officer while they're doing their job. It just it just doesn't work that way. And so if you put your hands on a police officer, they have every ability to overcome the threat that you are presenting to them. And in this situation, an officer punched this lady or actually kind of more so, you know, did like a little uh, palm strike to her and it, and it hit her. She got hit pretty hard. She goes down to the ground. But the question is, is was it effective? It was absolutely effective because it stopped her from doing what she was doing to the officer, which was putting or using force against him. And so that officer had the ability to effect an arrest simply because of the force or the resistance that she was offering and posing to these officers. The other thing is, is that she was impeding upon an investigation, which by law allows the officers to take her into custody because she's interfering with that and they have a job to do. And so we can't expect the officers to be able to operate an atmosphere like this and allow people to put their hands on officers and try to mosey their way into the into the mineral, center of it without actually having some force used against them. And in this case, that's exactly what happened. So I don't think the officer was wrong in the force that he used against her. It was one punch. He got her to the ground. It did what was effective in doing what he needed to do. Was it pretty? It wasn't pretty, but it did the job. Secondly is when you're dealing with armed and dangerous people in the neighborhood, the last thing I want is somebody interfering on my investigation because now not only does it compromise my safety, but it compromises the safety of everybody else involved. And so that's why this lady should have been standing by. If she needed to really talk to this dude, if she wanted to kiss him and do whatever, do it when the scene is safe and secure, but don't do it while the officers are trying to take her into or take him into custody. So that's my take. If you guys want to see the whole unedited version, like I always tell you guys, do me a favor, go and subscribe to our locals channel. We'll put that down in the comments below on locals. You'll be able to see the full unedited version as well as my opinion that I'm giving you guys right here, but um, that way you guys can go and see everything that you want to see. Um, the reason we're doing that, like I said before, YouTube has censored us a little bit and the things that we can bring to you and Locals is also helping me support my family and also bring you guys the best content. With that being said, love you guys, appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Ron Tillman, real talk, it's the truth.